What is up guys, it's Max Merck here and today I have the Volkswagen GTI Autobahn uh, with the performance package and this car also has the APR Stage 2 um, tune as well. So in this video I'm going to be going over a bunch of the cool features, um, unique aspects, you know, quirks of this car. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. Now I wouldn't call this a feature, um, but I definitely do think it's pretty quirky and uh, unique to uh, Volkswagens nowadays because a lot of car manufacturers have gone away from the uh, switchblade key. But uh, Volkswagen, uh, they basically just refreshed their old style key um, with a new design and uh, it's not bad. I personally do still like this kind of key. Um, it's very good quality, it says GTI there, has a very nice weight to it. Um, and I think it does look cool and I personally um, still admire the switchblade key. I think they're uh, pretty cool, um, fun to play with on your board and uh, so that's pretty unique about this car because a lot of other cars these days do not have that. Next up is actually the uh, brakes of this car. Um, being that it's the performance package it comes with the Golf R brakes um, and they are a lot bigger than uh, uh, the standard brakes and uh, the calipers are painted red as you can see right here. Um, actually you can't see on this one it says GTI here you can see it on this side it says GTI painted in silver over red and uh, you know they, they pop very well with this car and uh, along with the other little tiny little red elements on this car uh, you can see the red GTI logo right there moving over to the back um, you have the same uh, little red GTI logo um, so you all those little red accents everywhere you go um, but what's cool on the back of this car is uh, how you open the trunk so uh, to open the trunk what you do is uh, you go up to the emblem right here you push it in pull up that's your trunk release right there very cool this is also actually uh, your camera as well your backup camera so this house is the backup camera so uh, when you put the car in reverse um, this little cover pops up and your little camera comes out um, Volkswagen I'm pretty sure Volkswagen had this first and then BMW came along um, and Mercedes came along and a, and a lot of other uh, manufacturers adopted this so this is what it looks like with the camera the cameras right there um, it's very good because it uh, especially you can see the cover car is covered in salt because it's been raining um, it's very good because this you know protects the camera from getting dirty and uh, you know keeps it usable in all kinds of good weather conditions moving on inside of this car uh, what's cool in here um, well it's pretty hard to see right now actually you can't see it right now maybe very faintly um, but at nighttime um, there is this red ambient lighting that goes all around um, and it, at nighttime it looks very very cool um, there's LED foot while lighting all the lights in this car are LED um, which is great because in, in, a, in a lot of other cars you don't get that so uh, as you can see all these are LED front and back uh, another thing I think is pretty uh, unique about this car is the way Volkswagen ties in um, this kind of a uh, aluminum kind of look um, all throughout the car you know you look around everything is this kind of a contrast of red stitching um, aluminum all throughout everywhere um, the shift knob the start button uh, and then this kind of gloss black faux carbon fiber kind of look all around and then the pedals are also um, they're also aluminum and I think that just looks very very sleek and uh, sporty uh, the next quirk right here is uh, right here it's this lap timer uh, if you go through these menus um, there's actually a lap timer, believe it or not. I mean, maybe someone who's a true enthusiast who tracks this car is gonna have a lap timer and you actually use it, but uh, or it could also just be a gimmick, like a party trick. But um, you have a lap timer there if you want to use it. And actually, what's redundant is that you have a lap timer there, and you also have a lap timer right here. Uh, so that's kind of weird. Um, if I go right here into sport, move that over, you have another lap timer here. So you can have one lap timer going right here, and then another going right there. So. Uh, that's uh, definitely a cork on this car. If I open this compartment right here, you have a little SD card slot right there. Um, that's definitely pretty quirky because uh, I don't know about you guys, but I don't really have a use for SD cards anymore. And then another nice feature uh, is this uh, vent right here. So um, this glove box is actually vented. So uh, if you have some chocolate or something that you don't want to melt, put it in there and keep it cool. Uh, my Mercedes C-Class has that, so uh, it's really great that, that uh, this Volkswagen GTI has that as well. Another thing that's uh, pretty quirky are these paddles and I'm not talking about these ginormous um, carbon fiber paddle extenders um, those do not come with the car you gotta stick those on yourself but uh, it's actually what it says so you have minus and plus like uh, pretty much most cars do <clears throat> and with uh, pretty much all these cars to turn off the paddles if you're gonna go back into drive you click and hold the uh, right paddle but I have personally never seen them actually right off on the right paddle so uh, that's pretty cool um, for those of you who don't know you have to click and hold the right paddle to get out of manual mode 
it's even written on the paddle itself. So the infotainment system in this car is truly great, um, but there is a pretty weird quirk. So uh, uh, here we are in nav. So uh, that's the navigation screen. And then you just saw that little bottom bar go away. Um, what's pretty cool about this car is it has a sensor right there. I'll show you. Um, when you bring your hand closer, it brings up that menu. This right here is a sensor. It'll sense when uh, you come close to it. So it'll actually bring up these little sub menus. Um, so you don't have to, you know, click on the screen, bring it up. And uh, then it'll, when you move your hand away, it'll go away to free up some space. So as you can see right there, I go here and it'll bring it up before I even touch the screen. So that is pretty cool. I haven't seen that in any other car. And uh, another weird quirk about these uh, Volkswagens are uh, this, remove safely. So when you come into the menu um, and you go into the system settings, um, you can actually remove safely your SD card or USB. So I don't know who actually does this. Um, the typical car and typical person, if you have an SD card or USB and you want to take it out, you just take it out. But Volkswagen, you know, being this uh, over-engineered German uh, Car, you know you can go in and click remove safely you click it and it'll uh, it's just like the eject button on a PC or um, a Mac per se next up are uh, in the features menu where you can adjust um, the different convenience features and stuff so uh, automatic wiping during rain that's nothing new but I think this is pretty cool wipe rear window in reverse so uh, you know at tip a lot of people don't really use their rear wiper but this is pretty cool so if the wipers are on um, and, it, and it's raining if you put the car in reverse it'll wipe the rear window while you're reversing I think that's pretty that's just a great convenience feature to have. And then another weird thing is uh, when I put it into sport mode, um, you have this individual setting right here. You can adjust all these different things, um, steering, drivetrain, front differential lock, um, adaptive front lighting. You can adjust how the adaptive front lighting is. So uh, right now it's in normal, and if I wanna put it in sport, I can do that. And I'm not positive on exactly what this does, but uh, from what I believe, it'll, you know, be a lot more responsive and uh, move the headlights a lot more um, sporty I guess and a lot faster um, I don't know that's just crazy I've never really seen that um, different kind of um, adjustability for your adaptive front lighting um, but I mean if you want sporty front headlights you can have sporty front headlights and then what's cool is also while I have this uh, performance monitor up too I can also adjust the uh, my uh, media and uh, music so uh, I don't have to go back and switch between all these different menus it's right here nice and easy for me so next up is uh, with the climate control system um, this is pretty weird so it's off and uh, it doesn't say OFF all the same size um, it says O or big O big F and a tiny little F right there uh, that's just that's quirky I mean I'm assuming they couldn't fit um, to make all these big actually I mean they definitely could have made that last F a lot bigger to fit it or they could have just adjusted them and I really don't know it's just weird seeing the different size F and uh, it's just quirky and then also while we're here in this climate control setting um, one thing I hate about these Volkswagens is that the heated seat does not change in a normal car or any in any other car even in my uh, 25 year old BMW 325iS um, once you activate the heated seat after it stays on for a period of time it starts going down and then eventually it turns off or just stays in the low setting or even in my Mercedes um, it keeps going down in levels um, but in Volkswagen my Jetta and in this GTI you put it on one setting it stays on that setting and it doesn't go anywhere until you turn it off so I'll find myself driving and uh, I forget to lower it and I'm just sitting here and I'm like I have the climate control in like 68 degrees but why am I burning hot and I look down and then the heated seats are still on the highest level I wish it would you know automatically lower itself you know as it gets warmer and warmer but what is nice is that it stays on so if I turn on the heated seat turn off the car um, I get out or whatever, I come back in, he had see, stays in that uh, setting, it doesn't forget, um, so that's pretty nice. That's about it for this video guys, I hope you enjoyed it, if you guys want to see more of this kind of stuff, be sure to hit that like button, you know, tell me what you guys think, and uh, subscribe for more, and uh, thanks for watching.